2023. We see um, we have Jennifer Rajkumar in the house, and we're so happy that you know she's she came and she always new state Jennifer Rajkumar. I would uh, interest her to have a seat, and uh, definitely uh, we're gonna start right now. We have uh, many guests came here. Some of the guests are coming. From today, uh, President of VNPCCI keynotes, speech, speakers and distinguished speakers, and we will have our sponsors and speech from all the guests are on there, motivating all the kids how to do something in a different manner, which actually bring them to in a successful uh, situation. Interactive training and valuable information. Facility individual and achieve their career and professional expression participation have the unique opportunity to connect with fellow professional engaging in the discussion that are professional growth yeah, in the USBC Women Entrepreneurship Summit and Women Entrepreneurship Award 2024 schedule is the November 19, 2024 so thank you so much everyone little bit late but uh, now like a lot of guests in the other way to to building better world one one way you could write for women and men, girls and boys everywhere. I appreciate your attention and I wish all of years ago, 2004, uh, along with my life partner, Shahid Islam over there. So we both actually were... And I asked my teacher a very innocent question. I asked him, why are there no women in the history textbook? I wasn't trying to create trouble. It was just an innocent question. And he said to me, I will tell you one thing. Behind every great man, there was a woman. Unfortunately, that was not a satisfactory. That doesn't go in your transcript, right? There's a Bangla Regents that you can take, it's really easy. But there is many opportunities. Take it, put it in a paper, make it an accredited program that you have put yourself out there. Salaam alaikum. I didn't know I was going to have to speak here today. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to reintroduce myself. My name is Sukrani Danpath and I work for Mayor Eric Adams. Um, you always come after work. If you always focus on, say, you know, the, the money at the beginning, then that kind of uh, puts a different image. But if you do something passionately, um, I think the success and the money, you know, they automatically come. I mean, it's almost guaranteed if you're passionate about it. With that being said, I don't want to make my uh, speech too long. I really want to leave this uh, out to you. All the, the speeches from the entrepreneurs, the female entrepreneurs, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, if I can be of assistance, please uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you. Committee of U.S. Bangladesh Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, I am here. I came to U.S. Thinking about myself, regardless of all the cool things I've done, people believe the most interesting thing about me is my age. Seventeen. What a horrible, terrible age to be. And on one hand, that's true. I've yet to meet a person my age who isn't losing their mind, at least a little bit. High schoolers are mean and confused, but we have reason to be. My daughter. And um, this is such a privilege. I, this is not something that I have thought of or something I have heard of, but this credit goes to all the Bangladeshis that are here today. This is us Bangladeshis who are here and we should be proud of where we are and where we came from. Um, when I got invited by Ahad Ali, he's my CPA, actually excellent one. Um, I thought that, okay, this is my chance to do something for the community. I have been in business for 17 years, but I always avoided the community because I had to build a family together. I had to 14 years old, six years old, and three, uh, four years old. When, um, yeah. And I would highly request, for, like, like honestly speaking, Mr. Liton been behind me and asking many times to please join. 
I, I was trying to make my time, but... I First and foremost, thank you to USBCCI for extending their invitation to me this year. I came last year and it was such a beautiful event and I am so, so happy that they are going to continue holding these events. I think it is so, so important to empower women and award women for what they've done, um, what they'll do. And I'm not saying I want to be physically equal because men are stronger than women physically. I'm not saying I want to lift 300 pounds like you can, but we want equal opportunities, equal pay when we do the same job and less discrimination in society. We say that women are emotional and men are strong, but men should also be more strong. And the fact that women are emotional should not be the stereotype. The fact that women are strong is what we should be hearing more in society. When it comes to men and women and talking about what men and women in different situations, there's a different vocabulary for each gender. Men can react in different situations. That's something it's strategic. When a woman does something, to right now I'm taking a gender, I'm taking a class on gender-based crimes, and it took a lot for the UN Security Council to even acknowledge that there are crimes against women, and it took a lot for them to take action, move forward, and to give us more rights. And they also said that women being in positions of authority will actually be better for our society-dominated profession. I'm still young, but when I was a little bit younger, I was intimidated. I'm going into a male-dominated profession. What are people gonna think of me? Can I do it? Do I have the ability to do it? Are people gonna let me do it? But you know what, at the end of the day, this is what I want to do. Feeling intimidated is not going to get me anywhere. And the fact that this is a male-dominated profession, it's an opportunity. An opportunity to encourage male-dominated profession. So to the young women in here, I see a lot of little girls in here, I'm gonna say follow your passions. Life is honestly way too short to conform to society's expectation, to conform to society's standards. Assalamualaikum. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I would like to thank USBCCI for hosting an event which represents special women. And being a Bangladeshi born female attorney, I feel honored to be part of this. Uh, if you say about me, I came to United States in 2015. And uh, like all of you, uh, many of them who enter the United States as an immigrant, they dream to achieve something. That uh, uh, many Bangladeshi origin women and people are there, and their success stories uh, has greatly encouraged us. Actually, we are here to end. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Assembly Member Stephen Raga. Uh, I represent District 30 in New York City, so that's Jackson Heights, uh, Woodside, Elmhurst. Uh, where we have a growing, vibrant uh, Bangladeshi community. I'm so happy and honored to serve you and also represent you at the New York State Assembly. Please. Um, at first, I would uh, like to um, thank uh, U.S. Bangladesh Global Chamber of Commerce uh, for um, organizing uh, this um, Women Entrepreneurship Award with Kapanam Kulachan President Dr. Pashabash. তাদের জন্য আমার রবীন্দ্রনাথের ভাষায় শুধু বলতে হবে গরজি গরজি শঙ্খ তোমার বাজিয়া বাজিয়া উঠুক এবার নিদ্রা ছুটিয়া বাতন টুটিয়া জাগুক তীব্র চেতনা আজকে যারা পুরস্কৃত হয়েছে তাদের শঙ্খ আরও বেজে উঠুক আরও পুরুষ জানতে পারবে রবি ঠাকুর যেভাবে স্বপ্ন দেখেছেন সেই সাধারণ মেয়ে থেকে অসাধারণ নারীতে পরিণত হওয়ার গল্প তুলেছেন সেরকম করে আজকের যে মেয়েরা পুরস্কৃত হলেন মহিলারা পুরস্কৃত হলেন আমাদের নেতৃত্ব ঘরের যারা দিচ্ছেন তারা বাইরের নেতৃত্বে এসছেন নেই আমরা প্রায় শেষ পর্যায়ে চলে এসছি আজকে তো আপনারা জানেন যে ইউএসবিসি চ্যাম্বার অফ কমার্স ইজ দ্য থার্ড ওয়ান থার্ড ওমেন এন্টারপ্রেনিয়র সামিট আমরা এটা কন্ডাক্ট করেছি আজকে এই প্রোগ্রামটা